Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Gaso Sta by developer Hisa Shimaru. This is a game where we're going to be playing a very hardworking employee doing our best to keep the citizens of our city fueled up and ready for whatever the world may throw at them. As you can see we've got a couple of very basic things. First of all, don't smoke. I mean, it's a gas station. That's probably uh, self-evident, hopefully. Uh, then we need to use or pick with left mouse and drop with right mouse. Working time is from 9 to 21. Uh, as you can see at the top, we've got a clock there. We are just opening for business right now. And you can see there's a whole world of compact cars here that are about to descend on our little gas station. We're going to do our best to try and keep everybody going as much as possible. Now, this seems like a very serious and earnest uh, type of simulation, and for the most part, you'd be right. However, well, there's a few little funny things about the way this world works, and, well, you'll see the... You'll see those right then, actually. Uh, <laughs> there's some interesting physics things that'll happen happen in this world, and it's very difficult to try and manage the apparently insane overhead that this gas station seems to have, and, uh, well, as you can probably imagine, with how the cars are all behaving around us, uh, I imagine probably the overhead has something to do with the insane price of insurance that we'd need to operate a, uh, a some sort of a business in this sort of an environment. Uh, so I'm doing my best here to multitask, and it's a little bit tricky because, well, the gas nozzles keep coming unfastened from all the cars, and they won't reattach unless you nail the timing on the spot for... Uh, not the timing so much, but the accuracy on the click perfectly and art. Oh my god, the freaking gas is everywhere. The cars are everywhere. The cars are all hitting each other. They're all flying in every direction. They're upside down. And, you know, who am I to deny uh, one of our patrons the sweet fuel they need, even though their car is upside down or whatever the case may be? I can't actually take these hoses too far. They'll disconnect. Uh, unfortunately, nobody seems to be able to park their car in a reasonable place making my job very, very difficult, and I guess adds a little bit of, like, an RNG element to this, because you have no idea uh, what sort of physics interactions are going to happen each time you play this. All it really needs is one little chain event, and basically every car is going to go flying in every direction. I've seen some things that are actually just absolutely hilarious. I've seen cars get stuck in the walls. I've seen them slowly climbing up the side of the walls. I've seen the cars all go flipping down the highway all at the same time. Uh, all the gas nozzles can get intertwined together and create some fascinating uh, bits of art. It's, it's quite strange. It's a really kind of hilarious thing, and I don't really know how to properly describe in words uh, the revelation that I had when I was like, oh, so this is how this world's gonna be, huh? An endless physics domino effect of insanity. I mean, what's going on right now? This is just ludicrous. I don't even know, like, I shouldn't even be in there. I, apparently, I'm immortal and made of stone or something. It's the only way I could withstand the amount of impact that I've been taking from all these cars. Okay, every gas nozzle is now laying on the ground spewing gas. Uh, that would be another thing, too, if you had to, like, walk around and look for people that are about to light up a cigarette and, like, tell them to stop before they blow up the entire place. Like, there could be a little meter at the bottom of the screen that's, like, how much gas has seeped all over the ground. And then as you reach a certain point, it just starts to get out of hand, like, to the point where you start to see it all over the ground. And then there's, like, a two-inch thick pile of gasoline <laughs> on everything. Um, I imagine that could be quite funny, and I think there's actually quite a bit of uh, humor potential here, even beyond the intrinsic humor potential that we're experiencing right now. Look at my debt. This is absolutely silly. I'm at negative $1,200, or points, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this car seems like it's probably not going to be a problem, right? Oh, well, no, it's decided to go back on its merry way. Uh, that one looks like, yeah, we can fill that up a little bit. As if we're supposed to be able to manage this with all of the stuff that's going on right now. There's not a single chance ever. Oh my god, I can't even pick up the nozzles. They're just flinging around everywhere. I love that you even have the option to just let gasoline flow from the nozzle at any point you want to. There's, like, no actual reason for that to be a thing, but it is anyway. So I'm just gonna stand in the middle of the highway at this point, because what else can I really do? Uh, we're at 17.14, and it's starting to become night. Uh, you'll see the lights will pop on in a second for our gas station. Uh, doesn't dissuade the cars any. In fact, do the cars have headlights, too? I see that they're drawn there, but I don't think they actually illuminate. 
Uh, this is the other thing you can do if you're really feeling quite bold. Just wander right into traffic, and each car will actually bounce right off your body. Uh, and they'll just sort of phase into this beautiful mountain over here on the side. I wonder, can I just, like, climb up this? Hmm... Nah, well, maybe a little bit, but I think it stops at a point. It'd be kind of interesting, too, if there was, like, an RPG element, or if you make one gas station successful, you get to go on, like, a foot journey across the land to try and find another gas station to take over and run better. I could imagine there'd be, like, little challenges at each one. They'd all have their own problems that you'd have to deal with, different types of cars flipping and spinning through them. I don't know, It's it, there's something hilarious and also incredibly just, like, huge potential. Like, I don't really know how to describe it other than that. It just seems like there's so much stuff that could be done here to heighten what's already pretty funny and make it even better and also add even more in the way of gameplay to make this, like, a legitimate game at the same time as it could also be better in the other direction, too. I mean, this is just funny. Like, I mean, I know I'm not laughing, but it, it's just, it is. There's just cars bouncing off of each other for no reason. Just no reason at all. I was hoping to be able to show you, like, some of the even sillier stuff that can happen, like have them bounce up into the sky or something, but I guess that's gonna happen sometimes and not others. Oh my god, they're freaking landing all over me now. Well, I think our workday is coming to a close. I kind of uh, slacked off there on the second half of the workday. I'm just gonna go back at the, the desk here and just kind of sit down. Maybe we could uh, have a meal and watch the insanity play out in front of me over here in our last couple of minutes. There we go. So that's our score, negative 3,300 and counting. Uh, we're not very good as far as gas station operators go, but still, I had a fun time trying this. Hopefully you'll try it out as well. Let me know if you can actually operate a successful business and keep yourself out of the red. I'm not sure it's even possible, but maybe if you get really lucky and all the cars sort of line up in a way that doesn't cause them to pile onto you. Uh, anyway, that was Gasless Die. You should try it out. Let me know what you think in the comments as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it. It does help me out. I keep doing this every single day. And, of course, be sure to come back again tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. So I'll see you back for that. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic night. Talk to you all later.